when you're working with foundation, you need the foundation.js and also the file called what input that means.js. So we're gonna add a, a task that will move those files from the Bower components to the JavaScript files or the JavaScript folder. We don't need to import that. That's something that comes built in in Gulp. So I'm gonna create a variable, JS files equal to an array. And if I open the Bower components, Bower components, foundation sites, then the this folder, here you will find the foundation files that we need. We don't need the foundation that mean that CSS. Those files are gonna be created from the SCSS folder, but we need the foundation that mean that JS or foundation that JS. I found that the foundation that mean that JS causes some problems. So I'm gonna be using the foundation that JS and I can right click here and copy the full path, paste. And this will copy everything from applications, but we need from the Bower components. So I'm gonna remove this. And then we add a dot at the beginning. So we have dot Bower components, foundation site, this and foundation JS. Then we add a comma because we're gonna add another variable, uh, another file and we can collapse this. And the next one is called what input. And here you will find at the bottom what input that means the JS. I'm gonna right click, copy the full path again. And I'm gonna remove this, the part that we don't need. And here it says power components, what input, and what it put that means that JS. Next, I'm gonna create a task, Gulp task. And this task is gonna be called move JS files. And this will execute a function. And the function is gonna be really simple. We only add group src. And the source for this is gonna be the JavaScript files. Then we add a comma. And then we pass this empty object. And then we add a pipe right here, pipe. So the JavaScript folders are gonna be added to the pipe and we add gulp.dest. So we added these files and we set a destination. And the destination for this, I'm gonna collapse this, is gonna be the JavaScript folder. So I'm gonna add a single quotes, JS and slash. What a the semicolon at the end. And now let's add this move.js folder to the task. Now we have here at the bottom, move.js. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna kill the good process and I'm gonna type foundation watch again. So now you can see we have this move.js files right here. So the function is executing. So let's see that it already moved the files that we need. Let's open the JS folder and here you can see foundation.js and also what input is already here. So now we have set up everything that we need. In the next video, we're gonna see how we can add this foundation.js, this what input and the apps that CSS that we have to our WordPress team before we start writing some code and start working with this team.